Hey, Lucas here for Hanabi Glass. Today I'm going to show you about as many ways as I could think of to open up a glass tube or else something that's hollow. Anyway, let's get started. So here's what we're going to use. 12 millimeter tube, 4 millimeter rod, you can use whatever you want for that, whatever you're comfortable with. Some tweezers, of course my trusty Zippo, I highly recommend those, as well as something to knock some glass into. Here's probably one of the most basic ones that you're gonna do. You're gonna heat up the front of the tube until it's a nice even heat. And then at a 90 degree angle, you are going to turn both the tube and your rod in the same direction. It'll pull until it's thin and pops open. This one is where you're going to heat up the front below a bubble to make it thinner, but not a very large bubble. And just like we did on the first example, melt it back so that the glass gets a little bit thicker, but not too far back. And then you're going to twist with both hands in the same direction at a 90 degree angle from each other until it pops open. This is my least favorite way to open up the glass, but what you're going to do is heat up the front, blow a bubble very thin, and then you're going to knock it off with your tweezers or something else. My problem with this is it's too easy to blow it way too thin, and you can get little bits of glass floating around in the air, and you do not want to breathe that in. This one's very useful for opening a tube on the side or some other side of hollow vessel. vessel. What you're going to do is heat up a spot, pull it thin, remove it, then heat your punty as well as the spot you just pulled. Connect and wiggle back and forth on the stress point and it'll pop right open. Then you can fire polish it or ream it open more. Let's do that one more time, but without it being so dark, since so much of it happens outside of the flame. Once again, heat it, pull thin, and in this case, I happen to have a little bit extra. You can clean that off. And after you've done that, heat up your punty and the spot that you want to open. Touch, wiggle back and forth until it pops open. Here, it's going to be a similar sort of thing, but in this case, you're going to heat up the spot that you want to open up, blow it thin, keep the spot in the flame and don't move it. And what you're going to do is push your punty back and forth in, and you're going to slowly pull out the glass until it breaks open. And here we go. This is the last one I'm going to show you. It's very similar, if not exactly the same as one of the other ones where you're going to pull it, make it nice and thin, and then again, heat it up, rock back and forth to open. There's other ways of opening up a glass tube. And if somebody wants to give me some suggestions for some more videos, that would be cool. You can also use a scoring tool as well, but this is the best ways I've found to do it in the flame. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, follow, and hit the bell for new content, as well as any of you out there who might think of another way to open up the glass tube, please leave it in the comments and I will try to make a video for that. And I also have an Instagram set up. Please go over there, check that as well as I'm streaming on Twitch three times a week. Move on over to the Hanabi Glass channel to check out the times that I am streaming, as well as we have a Discord set up for any questions you have or any videos you'd like to see made. And last but not least, drop on by our website to see any of the new available work.
Thanks for watching.